Uh, ah. Hi Josh, you've got a sore knee? I certainly do. Um, how do you do that? <laughs> falling over in the mosh pit. Oh, when you say falling over, do you mean you ran at someone and he moved and you fell over? Yes, that would be it. Did that hurt at the time? It certainly did. Were you drunk? Yes. Did you do any other damage to your knee later on that evening, perhaps? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Did you also inflict any bruises on any, uh, anyone? No. Oh, on, on anyone? On anyone. Possibly, yes. Possibly, yes. Are you responsible for certain people wearing scarves today, Josh? Possibly. <laughs> uh, for the benefit of the people at home, uh, can you please tell me uh, why you might be responsible for people wearing scarves today? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> it's quite cold in Sweden. Yes. Um, it's rainy, but a bit like Glastonbury, but not quite as cold. Or wet, or muddy, but it's just as wet. It's good. People are friendly. They love New Zealanders. Yeah. They talk for ages if you um, say that. Jack Kroenten had an Svenska. It means I'm not Swedish. Or I don't speak Swedish, which is different and from being Swedish. You can be Swedish, but not speak Swedish. And tuck means thank you and please. I think that's extended vocabulary. Yeah, tuck. I'm out of ideas. I could do a poem about Sweden. Yeah? Um, there, there once was a boy named Bjorn, who was nine pounds when he was born. He went to the forest because he wanted a tryst, but there were no bears to care. Good. Thanks. So that's awesome. That's yeah. It. That's it. Hi, <laughs>